Hello everyone, welcome back to Handmade Cosmetics Reviews. It's great to see you today and I thank you ever so much for joining me. Okay, I am full of cold. Um, <clears throat> it's all kind of in my throat, in my head. I've got my sense of smell, I've got my sense of taste. I just feel rough, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I thought something to make me feel happier, make me feel a bit better. I'm gonna do what I enjoy, so I'm gonna review something. So we have got today Flyway Hair. Now this is a solid shampoo, you can pick it up in Lush both online and in store at the moment. It's a little bit damp because I use it all the time so I'm going to pop it away. <laughs> now this one gets everything green so just watch that. Um, so this is part of my swim kit bag. I find this shampoo superb for when I need to get rid of that chlorine in my hair. It's really, really good. Now I've read a few other reviews of people saying that they struggle to get a good enough of a lather to wash their hair with, but I've not found that at all. I don't know if it's because my hair is already soaking wet and it's full of chlorine, but I seem to be able to get a real good kind of heavy thick lava going off this shampoo so really strange that one on how different it can be um now for colored hair i'm gonna say this is not for you there's definitely gonna be too much salt which would could damage colored hair now the smell is really good oh actually before i talk about the smell i should say that flyaway hair this has been designed for thin hair I do find my hair is quite thin, always has been. It's also, I am a, a hair straightener fanatic, so I did damage my hair quite a lot as well. So this shampoo helps kind of add some volume to it. And I have to admit, it really does. I really like using this shampoo. So the smell, it's really hard. I like it. I really like the smell. It kind of like... It's like a warm summer's day on the beach with that breeze hitting you. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's so hard to explain it. So I'm gonna go on here and tell you some of the ingredients and, and if I can smell them or not. Um, so you've got hand harvested coarse sea salt and that's actually part of it, it's on top of the shampoo. You, you um, can you smell salt? You can't really, can you? Um, there's Sicilian lemon oil in there. It's not fruity. I don't smell lemon. It's got Roman chamomile oil. Roman one. Okay. And benzoid resinoid. I don't know what that is. Um, there's cocoa butter in there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know that smell, I really like it, it's very nice, it's very fresh, it's not fruity at all, perhaps even slightly floral, and I mean slightly, it's not really, oh I really like it, it's, it's really, it's really hard to, to describe it, it smells nice, it's fresh, it's refreshing, Nothing comes to mind. It's something I haven't really smelt that much before, but it goes really nice in my hair. Now it makes my hair feel so nice and textured afterwards. I really, really enjoy using it. But I will say, it also doesn't keep my hair that clean for long. So with this one, I've been using the Candy Rain Conditioner and literally just a tiny bit because I, I think the shampoo itself is still quite moisturizing anyway. I do need a little bit of conditioner to go with it just to get rid of my knots from swimming. But maybe, I don't know, I've never tried it, but you might get away without using conditioner as long as it's not too knotty. However, saying that, my hair really is fly away, so it's knotty all the time. Um, so yes, do watch that one. I do find I have to wash my hair sooner than if I use, for example, Jersey Bounce, which also adds really good volume to my hair. Anyway, I think that's enough for me today. If you like what you see, do subscribe. Please leave comments. I'd love to hear from you. I really apologise for my scratchy, awful voice today. Uh, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.